Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Victoria and we're back with another tower reading today. Today's tower reading is going to be called Do They Still Care? Are they thinking about you? How are they feeling? So we've got three titles today and we're just tuning into the energies of whether they still uh, think about you, um, do they still care about you today? And let's just have a look what Tarot and Spirit wants to say about your connections. Okay, if you're new to the channel, I'm Victoria. I'm an empathic tarot reader and I've been doing it for 27 years. So it's a long time. And these readings are real tarot readings, but they are general readings so if you would like a personal reading with me the links to book that will be in the description box below the video and also the price list if you would like a personal tarot card reading so i can tune into your person's energies and your energies also and your situation okay so before we do your tarot readings i'd just like to also thank everyone that's subscribing to the channel right now i really really appreciate it and it's so lovely to have your support it means a big deal it means a lot and if you haven't yet subscribed and you like what i do please turn on the notification bell and subscribe okay let's get into your readings what i'd like you to do now is just try and tune into your person's energies before you choose your decks so i'd like you to just picture your person's um face and try and Close your eyes and just relax your body and try and let that person's energies go into you. That will help choose a good pile, okay, for your readings today. So I'll give you a few moments to do that now. And you can choose from the Crystal Visions Tarot, which is pile number one, the Classic Raider Weight Vintage, which is pile number two, and the Light Seer's Tarot, which is pile number three, but the sun has gone in at this very minute, and that's the number three. You can't see it very much, it has to be green, my, my numbers. Okay, and I'll give you a few, few moments to do that now. Hello and welcome back to those of you who chosen pile one today. Today's reading is going to be how if this person still cares about you and the connections around them and you and your situation and your relationship. So let's have a look if this person still cares about you and what's going on. Okay, please stay to the end of your readings. Um, I do get spirit messages because I pick up on energies. I get spirit messages too that sometimes come through the readings. And I don't want you to miss any that may be relevant to you or your situation. And also, if you missed the intro, I am now doing private readings. If anybody would like a personal reading with me, the links to book that will be in the description box below the video and the price list. Okay, we've got one card that wanted to jump out. So we have the Ace of Cups. Also, if you'd like to tip me for the reading, try and watch one of the ads. It helps monetize the channel and keeps it growing so I can buy more things. That's what I'm using the revenue for, to buy more stuff for the channel. More bits and bobs and things that we can do on it. Whatever revenue you do want to give me. Okay, Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords. Okay, have you walked away from them for a reason? I feel like you may have walked away from them. Seven of Wands. Okay, all right. What I'm thinking with this, this person still loves you, okay? Some of you that are not in a connection with them, they would like to try again. Ace of Cups symbolises very romantic situation okay so this person wants a new start because it's at the beginning with an ace you may have walked away from them with queen of cups quite sorry queen of swords energy is pointing the other way you see with the sword and it's pointing towards the seven of wands for some of you remember these are general readings so i'm tuning into all the energies i can pick up for some of you you may have turned your back on an x 
and has started a relationship with somebody else, the way the sword is pointing, it's almost like saying, I don't want to be with you anymore. I want him <laughs> or want them. Um, Seven of Wands tells me this person could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And your ex may have been a water sign, which is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. doesn't have to be. It's still relevant. The situation is still relevant. It's just the energies that Tara has told me and I've picked up on today. Now, the Eight of Pentacles has gone in reverse at the end of this reading. I feel like your person is saying, look, they're very ambitious in getting you back. Talks about ambition. And also talks about repair work. So this person is thinking that if they tried to repair themselves or change, you would go back to them. And that Queen of Swords would now go the other way around and become maybe the Queen of Cups. But as it stands, this Queen of Swords is quite relevant within this reading. So your person still has very fond feelings for you here. But... You may have turned your back on them and you don't want to be with them or you're thinking of what what's next for you out there with will the seven of wands come into my life? For some of you, you could already be in a relationship with a seven of wands and they don't like the ex hanging around. Then the Eight of Pentacles comes out, it's talking <laughs> reversed. It's talking about anything that um, I think your person is trying to tell you, look, I didn't concentrate on your relationship. I didn't concentrate on our connection enough. I see where I went wrong. Let's fix it. And you're saying now too late. I'm either moving on. Or I've got someone else or I've got my eye on someone else or someone is there. This person, for a lot of you, I'm sensing, doesn't want the ex hanging around or you even talking to them. So you've turned your back, says the Queen of Swords, who knows what she wants. And um, he's a very honest person. The Queen of Swords knows what they want. They're very confident in their decisions. They have a brilliant mental clarity about things. I think that you moved on. And your ex wants you back with his spread. Let's just pull out a romance angels to have a look what they say. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic connection. Pull one more out because that one's coming out. Okay, this person thinks that you're their soulmate, so they're going to try and get you back. They still think there's chemistry here, but I feel like you've turned your back on this person. It could be an ex. The soulmate card. They are convinced that you are for them. So we've got the chemistry card. They're not going to move on so easily, I feel. At all. I think this person wants you back, would love to have you back, even if for some of you, a few years have passed. I think often they think about it. They think about the connection that you once had, you know, and they remember it fondly. And if they could, maybe they feel like they've made a mistake that the connection was over or they made a mistake that they let you go or it didn't work out. Some of you, this could be a connection from ages ago, but for some of you, this could be quite recent. Is what I'm feeling. Let's take one more tarot card just to have a look. Two clarifying cards and what they want to happen. Nine of Cups. And the, oh my God, they would like to contact you. <laughs> They would like to talk to you again. Look, chariot, somebody who moves in your direction. That nine of cups is telling me that um, yeah, they would like to have you all for themselves. 
they don't want anyone else around you. So if you are looking in a different direction, they would hate that. If you're thinking of moving on, they're going to hate that. They want you back and they want you back very fast. Chariot's a fast mover. Nine of Cups is also a fast mover. They want quick results. I mean, what's quicker than the chariot? You know, they're coming at you at speed. So they think that you're still their soulmate and they still want you back is what I'm feeling here. So as a sense here that if you have a new person, this could cause you some trouble. It's this person, this fiery person, if someone's around you, those of you who have moved on, they might come back out the the um the distance. Sorry, distance. I feel like they're walking towards you from a distance. That's why I said distance. I sort of get an image of somebody sort of <laughs> walking along the road in fog and all of a sudden they appear. They may have contacted you or trying to contact you to talk. Can we talk? I just heard, can we talk? I saw a message, can we talk? Well, yes, this could be an ex returning or this could be that you don't want to be with someone anymore and they're still pestering you to go back to them is what I'm feeling. So yes, this person still does care and this person actually wants you to talk to them and actually wants you to come back because they feel like they've let you go or they've lost you. They didn't put enough effort into your connection, so they've lost you. Does that make sense? They're convinced that you and them are soulmates, but you, I feel, may have turned your back on them and thinking, what else is for me out there? Some Others that are still single are thinking, who else is there for me? Somebody must be better than this. And for others, you've already moved on, then there's someone already there. Someone who wouldn't like the extra turn in at all and doesn't want you to talk to them. Okay, so yes, they still care. Whew. Okay, I can feel that quite strongly. I've got that image of um, a dark figure walking <coughs> towards you there. Okay, that's the reading I saw for those of you who chose the number one reading today, the Crystal Visions Tarot. And um, if you like that reading, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to tip me for the reading, um, watch one or two of the ads that would really help with the revenue for the channel. I could buy some new new decks and new oracle cards slowly. And um, YouTube don't pay YouTubers very much. Believe me. Believe me. <laughs> they don't. And um, yeah, if you'd like a private reading with me, the links to book and the price list are beneath the video. So come and see me next time on the channel for another reading and I shall leave it there and I'll see you all really, really soon for another reading. So bye bye for now. Bye bye. Hello, everyone. and Welcome back to your tarot reading and the number two reading that you chose today. We'll put that there so... We can film the tarot reading for you. Ooh, we've got one faller already. Loads are flipping out. Right, let's give these cards a quick shuffle. Okay, let's have a look if your person still cares. And what the situation is about it. And what are they feeling. And how your relationship is right now. I just moved my camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, if you would ever like a private tarot card reading with me, the links to book and the price list is in the description box below the video. Please try and stay to the end of your readings because I do get spirit messages that might be relevant for you in your situation. There's one trying to come out. There you go. As I said, spirit message. That one fell out. Also, if you'd like to tip your re um, tip for your reading, try and watch one of the ads for me. It helps build revenue so I can keep the channel going if you like my readings, of course. Okay, we have two fallers. Let's have a look if this person still cares. Ooh. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Wands. I do read reversals. Okay, if you're wondering. <laughs> the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. 
Um, I do read reversals because I always feel like if you don't, some tarot readers don't, that's fine. But I always feel like I've given half a reading out when I don't do it. If I don't, you know, clear up the situation that as it stands and what spirit wants to say. OK, the five of pentacles has gone in reverse. And um, I feel like your person feels very, would like to return as <laughs> so we've got return going on here okay this person also would like to live with you <laughs> i feel like that they would like to be in your energy definitely when the five pentacles is reversed like this here i often feel like they want to move towards you and actually be in your space permanently so this could be a move of some sort so this person wants to move away from the situation that they're in now because they don't like it. So they might want to come and live with you for a lot of them <laughs> or they wanted to come and live with you. Also, a new job comes out with the five of pentacles. So they might think, well, I could relocate, come and live with you. And um, there'd be a new, you know, I'll get a new job and settle down. They are coming back, though. <laughs> There's a return going on here. If you've not been in any contact or a very little contact, I feel like they're going to return and contact you. The Six of Wands is telling me that this person nearly gave up or you feel felt like giving up the connection. Okay. Or they felt like they want to give up and they may have just gone a little cold or retreated because they think they failed or they've done something wrong. It's almost like they want to travel towards you, but they're so scared of mentioning maybe they want to be more committed you know, more stable, but they're scared of frightening you off if they say it. The Eight of Wands here. So, yeah, for some, for a lot of you, they may have gone. Okay? So, this is because they think that you would have said no. That's how I'm feeling. Okay. The Eight of Wands, they may have... Um, OK, they're going to contact you. I can feel it. And I think that if they could, one's often talks, one's energy often talks about things happening really, really quickly. I was a bit confused then. That's what I was told. And also it talks about news coming very, very quickly. So I feel they'll contact you in a quick, like out of the blue. If you haven't been in contact for a while, all of a sudden a message is going to appear from them is what I'm feeling. The Eight of Swords is telling me, do you want this message from them do you want to hear from them they're thinking and i can actually feel their lack of confidence so they want to move forward they want a more serious stable relationship they may have been out of contact because they might have retreated for a while so they are going to contact you and pretty quickly i feel but i feel like this still not you know, they're still scared about, con there's a nervousness I feel about them. They want to contact you, but they're not sure you want, that you want, they, you would like to hear from them. You know, they've sort of done it to themselves. Does that make sense? There's something restrictive of that card. They either can't contact you, maybe they're with another person or you're with another person, but they really want to contact you. And I and they will, I feel, with that eight of wands. So it could be that either they're with another person and they're thinking about you or you're with another person and they feel like they can't contact you. And, you know, come back is what I'm feeling. They want to come back, is what I'm sensing with these people. They're dying to contact you. I think it's right on the tip of their tongue just to message you or, you know, their fingers are itchy. Let's pull out a few of these Love Oracle cards. You have, 
your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Told you they want to be committed. I know it says engagement. So they want a commitment of some kind. I told you they wanted to live with you, didn't I? This is how I'm feeling. Oh my God. Engagement and wedding. Are you joking? Right. Okay. Then this is pretty serious stuff. More serious than I thought until I pulled these cards out. I said this person wants to be with you. They want to live with you. I said it with the first card, didn't I? And then the two oracle cards. Okay. They want to marry you. They want to move forward. There's definitely marriage on the cards. It could be that one of you's married also or committed to someone else, but they really want to come and move back or live back. They want to move in with you is what I'm feeling. Do you know that song? And I'm not going to sing it, Don't Marry Her, Have Me. I just heard it. I'm not singing it in case I get into trouble with copyright. I don't know if you if you never heard that. It's... um. God, I can't remember who it's by now. Don't marry her, have me. That's what I'm feeling. It's like, don't be with them, have me. Marry me, you know, be more committed to me. I can't believe this. My stomach's flipping over. Right, this is more serious than I thought, okay? This person is absolutely in love with you. Must be with a wedding and engagement there. Okay. What more can I say about that? This is more of a committed thing than I thought. This is serious stuff. So one of you could be married or they could be married, but they want to come towards you and contact you fast and they want to live with you, you know. But they feel like they can't approach you. They, they, there's a restricted like imprisonment feeling I'm getting with that card there. Does that make sense? Okay, if it resonated with you, drop a comment or put a like if you want, because I'm a bit confused. <laughs> um, it was going to resonate with some of you out there. I know it. Okay, if you like that, um, please share it if whoever wants to see it. Or you can pick another pile if it didn't resonate with you. Or you can read another pile if you were drawn to two. That's perfectly fine as well. If your eyes can sometimes go on both. I got a bit flustered then. And um, if you'd like any personal guidance with me, the links in the price list are beneath the video in the description box. Um, if you'd like to tip me for your reading, please watch a couple of the ads. That helps me keep the channel going and it helps me buy equipment for the channel like um, new tarot decks or an oracle deck. Or, you know, it really does. It does mount up and it helps the little bit that they give you. And I shall see you all really, really soon for another video. And um, yeah, see you all soon on the channel. Bye bye. Hello everyone and welcome back to your pile. For those of you who've chosen the pile three today, I'm sorry you couldn't see it on the deck there because that's green, but they're not dark when you turn the cards over. This is the Light Seers Tarot, okay? So we'll have a look at how your person's feeling right now and if they still care and how their energies are between you and what's going on. I'll put that there, it's good for edit. When I edit, it's easier so I can see the number. <laughs> Okay, so if you'd ever like a personal tarot card reading with me, the links to book are beneath the video and the price list. So if you'd like any guidance there, please also stay to the end of your reading because I do get spirit messages that come out. Okay, and I never know what's going to come out. Sometimes I just hear stuff and then if you're, you know, if you're new to the channel or you're regular, you know that I just sometimes I blurt all sorts of stuff that comes out that don't make sense sometimes, but it's relevant. And then it seems to make sense. OK, if you'd like to tip me for the reading later on after I have finished, um, please watch one or two of the ads. They're only a few seconds and that helps me keep the channel going with them um, to buy equipment for the channel. And, you know, it gives you a little bit to buy the odd deck and Oracle card. That'd be really helpful. And thank you so much if you do. OK. So do they still care? Oh, my God. Knight of Cups. I'll tell you in a minute what this is about. Ace of Swords. <sighs> I think you could. Oh, OK. Nine of Swords. What's happened here? Temperance. OK. Absolutely. Do they still care? Yes, they do. Knight of Cups. Absolutely. You see this Knight of Cups energy here. 
they could be, I was going to say severely romantic. They could be the romantic type, okay? They are the ultimate Prince Charmings of the Tarot, the Knight of Cups. Often water signs, but it doesn't matter if they are not. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Right. I feel like the you two could be, you two, you two could be almost mentally connected with that Ace of Swords. I think you feel it when he's, he or they she is down I, I think you feel he feels it when you're down I think you're mentally connected I really do nine of swords has gone in reverse though here so there's something going on you could even be soulmates with those two cards there my ace of swords is like There could be like something new that neither of you have experienced before that's going on. Hang on, because it also symbolizes a conflict of some kind, something that wasn't expected. So this person still loves you, but there is something going on here, okay? With this Nine of Swords. It wouldn't come out for no reason. The Hanged Man in reverse. High Priestess. Very intuitive cards that have come out here. Just for some of you, you feel like your person is being a little bit secretive and you can't work out why. OK, High Priestess, as lovely as she is. They're mysterious. OK, and this hanged man to the next to it. Sorry. <laughs> OK, the hanged man next to it, next to it. You at the minute, one or either of you. There's a selfishness going on with your person, I feel. OK, but I'm feeling like because they're just doing things for themselves right now, you think there's something going on <laughs> that is the holding secrets. Now, this is a situation I feel that you've never faced in your relationship with him. Or them. And the balance has tilted ever so slightly. OK. Because this Nine of Swords wasn't there for no reason. So there's something going on where I think that one or the other of you have accused each other of maybe keeping some kind of secret. Maybe they've gone a little bit distant and you're thinking, what's going on? But I feel like they're just spending time doing their own thing. Nine of Pentacles. And you're worrying for nothing, really. Let's have a look if you are worrying for nothing. Yeah, there's definitely jealousy has been had there. They're working. That's also somebody that works super hard. OK, the Seven of Swords is telling me you think they're going to go. You think they're going to go away from you. You think there's something going on and they're going to leave you is what I'm thinking. You're almost convinced yourself of it. Definitely convinced yourself of it now. Okay. I think that what's happened is for a lot for a while now you've depended on them for emotional support and stability, and something has happened, and I think it could be work, work related. Um where they have to concentrate on something else for a while. And that makes you feel quite insecure, is what I'm feeling. And it makes you worry and feel quite isolated. But what I'm thinking is this also comes out when someone's had a financial loss, okay? They're worried about money. So I feel like your person is just working. Yeah. <laughs> They're just working. I think you're worrying. I think you've depended on them for your emotional stability and your emotional growth, which is fine. But what I'm feeling now is they may have had to concentrate on something else for a while. And I feel like it's when they're working, they're not doing it just for them, even though it looks like they're doing it just for them. They're actually working for you and your connection. That's what's in their head. This is really strong. 
this reading, by the way. That's why I'm getting it quite fast. It's almost like I'm being told a story. Yeah. You're worried that he's gone. I'm going to go, okay, with this card. What he's doing is trying to build your connection. A lot of it is work related, okay, or financially rela related. But what I'm thinking is, is that you might be, um, if you confront him, he might be a little bit moody. Let's say, come on, you know. I feel like you have told him a thing or two. Maybe you're fe feeling like, you know, why aren't you here? Why aren't you like you used to be? But they're actually just busy. Yeah. I think you may have done. Okay, I think it's going to get sorted. We've got the temperance and the justice, which always comes out around the same time as each other. So um, what I'm thinking is everything's going to get back into balance. And he's, he's listening, listening to you. He's listening to what you're saying, but can be a bit moody if you tell him, because I think he's just tired um, with the situation. I think they, I got the feeling he's a worker. He's, he's a big, likes to work, yeah? And he works a lot. When he works, he works. And he's working for your connection to build it. Because that Knight of Cups is the very first card that I picked out. And I do feel like you're mentally connected. He senses something's wrong. You may have told him. Okay. Let's have a look at a Romance Angel card. I bet one of you worries is going to come out in this card now. Watch out. Codependency. <laughs> I told you. I never wrong. I feel like um, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I think you depend on him for your emotional stability. Okay. This is what Tara is telling me. But what they're doing is they just have to be selfish for now. It's nothing serious I feel I don't feel there's anything serious I knew an oracle card would come out that would they're worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life let it flow is what I feel and just let it flow let him do his own thing let it flow they will come back is what I'm feeling um I'm almost heard spirit say please don't worry I heard those words because you've depended on them, yeah, for your emotions. And they've been there, I feel. They've been there for a, a while, a long time, some of you. And they've been there, you've relied on them. And all of a sudden, they've had to do something else, is what I'm feeling. It looks like they've retreated, so you've started to worry. But what they've done is they're just working for your connection. They're doing it for you, is what I heard also just now. Do you know that song? Why am I getting songs today? I got song not with the first pile, but the second pile. I heard Everything I Do, I Do It For You by Brian Adams. I'm not singing it. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear me sing. But I'm not <laughs> I'm not singing it. I could get into trouble with, uh, what you call it, copyright as well. So I just heard that. Everything I do, I do it for you. And I want to sing it. Spirit is telling me to sing it. And I'm not singing it. No. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. Okay, that's what I can hear. So this is what I'm, I think is happening. Okay, everyone that chose pile three, stop worrying. I feel it'll be absolutely fine. Things will go back into balance soon. Just let it flow. Okay, so that's the reading I see for those of you who chosen pile three today. And this was a real tower reading, by the way. I don't try to pick my cards. I shuffle and I read reversals because I feel like you need... I always feel like I do half a reading when I don't do them. Some tarot readers don't, and that's fine, because they're more, you know, they go by intuition, um, meanings, and also, but tarot cards have different meanings when they're reversed. So, for me, I prefer to read that way. Okay, so sometimes you get things where I know something has happened, yeah? So, this is what I sense that something has happened between you all of a sudden. You think this is something new. This, this hasn't happened in my relationship before. and that's, But that's what I felt with this reading. Okay, we'll leave it there. And um, yeah, if you like that reading or it resonated, put a like, drop a comment. It would be nice to read. I do read them. And I shall see you all really soon with another pick a card reading. And everyone, take care of themselves take care of yourselves and those around you and bye bye for now come back soon and visit me on the channel bye bye for now